asking ourselves this day. Welcome back to the Sunshine State Rails. It's just after 2.30 p.m. on Saturday, March 27th, 2021. We're down in the very remote town of Lithia, Florida, on location just outside of Mosaic's giant New Wales phosphate processing facility. Train 0730 out of Winston Yard earlier this morning had come down here to make a delivery and a pickup to this place, and to get that stuff from here to there, they'd be using some very special power. out of CSX's Huntington shops would be leading this train today, specially painted, as I'm sure you know by now, to honor military forces and veterans. Finally spotted by me in broad daylight. Some extra lighting always makes stuff better. We arrived at Lithia to catch the return trip of 0730 from New Wales back to Winston, and he had just picked up about 60 covered hoppers loaded with diammonium phosphate bound for customers up north. A very nice daylight photo opportunity as the train idled practically right next to us. Another few minutes go by before the crew van is seen emerging from the south, bringing the conductor back to the locomotive after completing whatever work was to be done on the other end of the train. Now, with track authority granted from the dispatcher, 0730 was ready to take off. ahead of the train gets us to Sermons Road in Nichols, Florida. Like many towns in the Bone Valley, Nichols is a phosphate plant and a post office. But a nice shooting location as 0730 rounds a slight curve crossing Nichols Road.
at South Mulberry Yard, also known on the railroad as North End IMC, which is the route that 730 would be taking to get back to Winston today, which he did by running north out of New Wales, through Nichols, and up to here. Mulberry Yard is really designated into two sections, IMC and Prairie. Both have different exits to which a train can take depending on the route they choose to take. Either way, they both become Mulberry Yard, which becomes the single track north to Winston Yard, which is where 730's final destination would be for today. Running alongside 730 up through IMC, we can see some areas where tracks used to be. Remembered dearly by rail fans such as myself from 2017 and earlier, right here is where the repair in place or rip track used to be. Here, at any given time of day, you can see dozens of foreign locomotives lined up along here, just feet away from the road, commonly in good light, making for amazing photo opportunities. However, a year or two ago, this track was ripped up, and nowadays, foreign engines to come down this way primarily reside deeper within Mulberry Yard or inside a Winston Yard. Neither are feasible photo opportunities. But the 1776 was in some nice light today, as he creeps northward through IMC. train finally fully rounded into Mulberry Yard, it dawned on me that they weren't going to stop and do any work here on their way back, as the dispatcher got a request from the train to head straight back to Winston as all other movements had cleared up. So we moved northward to a spot just south of the control point of Tancred, with the train on a few grades at a nice gliding speed. earlier, 0730 is a daily local out of Winston to work Bone Valley customers, primarily New Wales, and power that Winston usually decides to use for this train usually comes off of Q603, a nightly mixed freight out of Waycross, Georgia to Winston, Florida, to which the power will then be used on this train during the day and then sent back north on 604 that next night. Though I'm not sure whether these two units went back north on 604 this night, because these two didn't come off of 603. These two engines came from, get this, an M738, and further get this, a unit rock train out of Baldwin, Florida bound for Taft near Orlando. Though they didn't run it straight there, they swung the train into Winston and pulled the engines there. I've been a bit hung up with school and other videos recently that I haven't been able to document much of these new changes, but there are new unit train locals on the CSX system which are running somewhat regularly this M738 being all aggregate hoppers out of Baldwin, having presumably come from some of the new A770 series locals out of mid-Georgia down to Baldwin, Florida, which are also unit rock trains in a sense or two. Though they don't carry the K symbols yet, I do see some of our old K trains likely to return in the future, as though it may not be fully evident, PSR, the fairly new railroad efficiency practice, is in a number of its practices being phased out bit by bit. While some of PSR's elements will stick around because they have provided genuine efficiency, some of them, such as select unit trains, will return at some point or another most likely, since economically and over time, it just made more sense. 
I hope to document these new changes to the best of my ability over the coming years, albeit sparingly, because I do have other things to get done. Our last spot here was the south end of Winston Yard. Traffic between Tancred and here wouldn't have allowed us to reach the head end engines before they passed here, so all we could shoot here was the final part of the train crawling into the yard. But what can I say? As a random filler event for the end of this March afternoon, this was one hell of a chase. And as always, I thank you for watching. I've got some interesting stuff coming up here soon as it stands, to which I hope you'll stick around. And until then, this is Coda Beaner at Winston, and I'll see you next time on the Sunshine State Rails.